Yeah. Yeah. My name is Justin Fitch. I'm a retired veteran and I'm dying of stage four cancer. That was four years ago when Justin Fitch was given just a few months to live. I never met Justin, but as I began to learn about his journey, as I started to put the puzzle pieces together, as I grew to understand what active heroes meant to this man fighting for his mission, I knew this story couldn't be told without him. If you're watching this message, it's because I have fought to the very end. During my last months, I worked hard to help raise funds for the Active Heroes Retreat, to help veterans heal from post-traumatic stress. It's my wish that people continue to support the retreat for years to come. About 20 veterans a day die from suicide. Justin contacted Active Heroes back in 2011, and he said that he had a gun to his head. A reality for many trying to transition back to life before war after they've lived through combat. As years progressed, we've been contacted by many veterans that are struggling with post-traumatic stress disorder. For one soldier, a hike across America in 2010 began his first chapter. My name is Troy Yoakum, and I'm the president and founder of Active Heroes. But the start of the last chapter for another. Including one veteran, uh, Captain Justin Fitch. Justin made it his mission, actually he called it his final mission, to raise money for the retreat here. Here, on the Salt River in Bullock County, Justin and Troy had a vision, a mission, they wouldn't let terminal cancer take away. The doctors gave him only a few months to live. Um, and Justin came out here to Kentucky and sat in this very location here, well before there was a bridge or any buildings or any roads, really anything, just woods, uh, and sat here and we went over some of the original ideas and plans for this location. Those few months turned into two years. Two years of struggling with um, stage four colon cancer. Two years of devotion and becoming an inspiration. For a person from Massachusetts to want to build it here in Shepherdsville, Kentucky, obviously meant a lot for Kentucky veterans and their families, um, but tremendous for veterans and their families nationally. 730 days dedicated to something bigger than himself. When you leave the military, when you get discharged, um, life has to have a purpose. And Justin find that purpose in supporting military families, supporting veterans, um, helping while he was not serving anymore. Obviously it was a struggle for him physically, but he fought day in, day out to raise money for the organization so that we could start building this retreat center. In the last couple days of his life, we were able to raise close to $300,000 for the retreat. Uh, and unfortunately, in October 2015, he passed. In 2016, his family were the first to embrace the healing grounds in a cabin all too familiar. And throughout the last three years, his legacy has helped change the outcome for other suffering veterans. Overall, our stay at the retreat was incredible, and we can't wait to come back. Thank you for making this possible. Carlos and Lauren DeLuna from Indianapolis, Indiana. When I came home from Iraq the first year, every night, I was dreaming Iraq. Shell shock. Battle fatigue, PTSD. I worked EMS in Louisville for four years. I got used to seeing life and death situations there, and I thought that would prepare me for what I would see in Iraq, and 
It, it didn't. There may not be a solution, but a weekend away, a new performing arts center, and a peaceful dog park opening this summer, and healing grounds are all part of the active heroes process. Justin may be gone, but his name lives on. It is the least that we can do is to honor him by naming places after him, by still talking about him, because it is, it is a legacy. It's a name that will live forever. And the only thing in this life that we have is our legacy. Reminding others a new purpose can be found. Now I have a mission to change lives through education, and I think that's what my mission is now. A dying man's selfless wish continues to be granted. Please keep fighting to complete my final mission. Forever ingrained on the grounds of the retreat. Please, I'm begging you to carry on this legacy that I'm trying to start. A legacy where us veterans and us community citizens take care of our veterans. And from his friend, his suicide savior, and the reason active heroes will continue to grow. We set a lot of ambitious goals. We often laughed about um, how long it would take to get to this point. Other veterans and their families will be able to heal because of Justin Fitch, a true American hero. We, we did it, brother. We, step by step, we keep accomplishing these goals that we talked about, geez, eight years ago. And uh, you know, we, we keep fighting the fight day in, day out to keep building this location to really make you proud.